Okay, so here's the photo that I took some time ago and I took it uh, from Letna Park uh, in Prague and this is the beautiful spaceship that I exported from Space Engineers game and I will be using this one uh, for uh, our video. So I want to integrate it into this backplate, into this photo, so I want it to look as if this uh, spaceship crashed into this water here, into this uh, river, uh, our great Voltava river. So uh, if you're wondering how to set up uh, Octane and do all the shenanigans uh, regarding shaders, how to convert uh, shaders to Octane, uh, watch my other video. I will post um, the link, in the, it should appear in the upper corner. So now let's go to world settings and let's switch from, uh, let's switch to texture environment and then we should uh, be seeing the whole beauty. So uh, now in texture uh, slot, let's select RGB image so we can select the actual HDR image. So I have one HDR image, which I, which I downloaded from um, Polyheaven. So uh, make sure legacy gum is set to one, otherwise it will be all blown up. Then I think I have to downscale the, uh, decrease the power a little bit so that it's not that happy bright. And other than that, yeah, I think something like this is uh, quite close. I might uh, tweak it, of course, later. So now let's go to the surrender settings and uh, uncheck alpha channel so that we can actually see the HDR in the viewport and let's see if the actual source of the HDR is matching um, uh, the, the perspective that we were trying to uh, match this uh, spaceship into with the backplate. Okay, now let's go to camera settings and specifically to background images and let's enable it. And now let's uh, import our uh, backplate. And once we've imported it, uh, we can increase opacity so that we can clearly see our backplate in the viewport. And now let's roughly uh, match the perspective of our uh, 3D scene, our spaceship, so that kind of aligns. Um, so now I'm selecting the spaceship and kind of rotating it so that uh, it looks like if it's, uh, it, it really crashed into the water. So it's really, really rough, guys. Like no, no uh, rocket science. Just I'm, I'm really eyeballing everything because this is really enough to explore some ideas, right? You can always uh, polish it later. So yeah, I think it should be something like this. I kind of uh, make made it uh, a little bit half sunk. So now I'm creating, uh, adding the new plane, and <clears throat> that's how it looks. And luckily, HDR is already doing its fantastic job. It's uh, casting the lights and shadows and reflections. Uh, now we, uh, so now that we have this uh, universal material created on our uh, plane, uh, we need to uh, check this shadow catcher uh, feature thing. And now we have these nice shadows, this nice contact point, uh, which enables us to uh, match the spaceship even better. So now let's actually go to um, uh, the world settings of uh, our HDR, uh, so we can so we can access our HDR. And here we have these 3D transformation controls, uh, which will enable us to kind of uh, rotate HDR in all directions, uh, so that we can you know uh, match the lighting on our spaceship a little bit better. So once you will have that. Um, we have this spaceship uh, hidden for some reason, so we have to just, you know, click some buttons, you know, drag the viewport, and you will get it back. Uh, so now let's uh, disable alpha channel in uh, uh, render settings so that we have our HDR visible again. And now let's uh, do some experiments, rotating it even in some weird way, you know, because nobody will see the actual HDR, no problem with that. Uh, so what I'm trying to do here is to match, uh, not actually match, but rather, you know, catch some uh, nice lighting on the uh, on the hole, on the surface of the spaceship. And we have these nice uh, reflections going on and shadows, so everything's beautiful. So uh, I'm continuing to kind of uh, experiment with uh, with the HDR. I'm trying to, yeah, I think this looks really good. 
uh, maybe something like this because uh, if you have the uh, the actual HDR source uh, the, the the light the actual Sun um, reflecting in the metallic surfaces and you know causing some you know nice reflections and highlights it's always cool right especially of course uh, if it matches the actual backplate the actual photo you're using as a background and let's uh, uh, let's go to let's go to render settings and let's disable or actually enable alpha channel so that we don't see the HDR and uh, now we're kind of ready so we have everything's going on already so now let's just um, uh, let's see if we have everything set up correctly here roughness yeah we should um, decrease it a little bit so we have a little bit more probably or maybe yeah I think it's fine because you know the body of the river is uh, well the river is uh, it's, it's quite um, it's quite deep so it's not like mirror right so uh, it's not that reflective so I think it's fine that we have just a little bit of a, a reflection just a hint of a, of a reflection right so something like this I think it's totally fine and uh, let's see if we have everything set up okay reflection is here shadows are here and the uh, spaceship is lit nicely um, let's see what else do we have here so now we can go to um, octane AOV editor here and let's actually enable uh, the AOV passes because we will be using AOV passes uh, so let's switch to render AOV node here and uh, click this quick add node tree to uh, get these two uh, nice nodes that will enable us to render all the passes that we need and let's see what else so yep everything's nice so for now we have just beauty and beauty denoised but um, let's create actually uh, more we will be creating more layers so now uh, it's time for a trick so uh, let's assign this river the ID the render layer ID uh, of uh, one and then I want to create uh, or actually assign the spaceship an ID of two why I'm doing this is uh, it's because uh, later I will uh, set uh, in the uh, in the render that my beauty layer will contain only the spaceship only the spaceship and the render uh, render layers render passes will be containing only the reflection and the shadows right so uh, let's select in AOV node 3 octane, uh, octane AOVs and uh, let's enable octane render layers so now uh, by doing this again uh, we're we're telling octane to render in beauty layer only the spaceship and the render passes will be rendering uh, the render passes that have one only right so this is the trick uh, so uh, our beauty layer will be containing only the spaceship and uh, uh, the render passes will be rendering what we have uh, uh, with the ID of one which is basically just a river plane right so now let's just create these uh, uh, passes which is black layer shadow uh, layer reflections and layer shadows just simple uh, layer shadows because you know why not maybe I will use it but most probably I will be using black layer shadow it's way more uh, simpler and then in octane output I'm setting up the the actual output uh, setting up the file name uh, okay maybe just some test yep uh, yeah, everything's fine it's PNG uh, then in uh, render settings I have to scroll all the way down to color management and just make sure you have uh, raw in your view transform settings then uh, we're ready to go so uh, let me quickly check what we have in octane settings here um, yeah aces tone mapping nice uh, yeah, I think everything's fine here and we're ready to render our beautiful image so uh, we can Yes, this is the universal material. Let me see if uh, 
everything's fine. Yeah, so render image, or just hit F12, and we have our beautiful still image ready. So let's head back to Photoshop and let's quickly um, overview what we have. So this is the beauty layer. As you can see, uh, this is the spaceship that had uh, ID of two, right? And this is the uh, black layer shadow, just a raw shadow. Uh, with transparency this is fantastic and this is the just simple shadow but i will not be using it and this is reflection i think it looks absolutely fantastic and it will be more than enough for our purposes right and now let's actually import these images into our composition so let's start with the uh, beauty uh, beauty pass so this is the one that we need uh yep looks nice okay beauty layer just a spaceship Nothing else. And then let's go with black layer shadows. It's quite dark, but we can always, uh, you know, dial down uh, the opacity of it. So let's do it. Um, something like, something like 60 or maybe 70, something like this should be more than enough, right? So it's not like pitch black, right? So yeah, I think it's fine this way. Yep. And let's see what else do we have. And, and now let's bring the reflection. And reflection is it's simple. Just you know, uh, switch it to screen, blending mode, and you should be good to go. Now let's just create this uh, alpha mask and switch to um, gradient to kind of uh, remove the unneeded part of it. Just slightly. You don't have to you know exaggerate it. You know because again, uh, the the surface of the river is quite rough, right? Uh, Ripley, quite Ripley, more a lot of ripples. Ripley, Lieutenant Ripley. Okay, anyway, so uh, let's uh, brighten up our spaceship a little bit, something like this, um, maybe something like this. Yeah, and now I'm um, trying to make it a little bit more warmer, so it matches with the back plate overall tone. Yeah, something like this, and. Uh, now let's just, you know, add some uh, foam, which would probably happen if this kind of huge thing would fall or crash into the river and, you know, would be staying there for quite some time. So it, it's obvious that there would be some flows and streams of, you know, foamy water uh, going on, right? So, uh, so these kind of tiny details, they really help, uh, they, they really help selling the, the idea that this thing is real. Right, so th th there's a contact point, contact line between the, the, the spaceship, the object and the water and you can decorate it the way you want. And that's actually the cool part because uh, the only thing you have to worry about uh, is the still image, right? So you, you just need to make the still image look cool, look realistic. Uh, so we're kind of stepping into the matte painting waters here. Oh, <laughs> matte painting waters, <laughs> uh, literally waters. So yeah, let's just, you know, um, color correct it a little bit, brighten it up uh, just a bit. And we're ready to feed this beautiful image uh, into Kling AI, which we will do in a second. So yeah, I think this is it. We can now uh, save it as a PNG and let's head over to Kling AI and let's just drag and drop it uh, into uh, this uh, slot that says start. And you can use this dipstick button to kind of, um, this is actually the, the previous uh, description it gave me, but uh, if you will click the dipstick, it will give you some starting description. If you, you might want to use it or you can skip it. And I will use mine, uh, so it will be something like this. Camera slowly glides forward, revealing the epic crash scene of a uh, gigantic uh, futuristic spaceship. Uh, so forth and so on. So now I'm selecting the professional uh, mode because it's way more crisper uh, Although it's a little bit more expensive and let's just you know hit generate uh, and we will be good to go So now uh, Once it will do its thing Here's the final result. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment and Of course subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon